put on your own mask first. If you bet on an airplane, you've heard that during the safety demonstration that if the cabin loses pressure, these things are gonna fall out of the ceiling and you are to put your own mask on first. Why do they say that? I think it's obvious for a lot of people. You can't help anybody else if you're not in a position to be around to do so. So as we're getting closer to the end of the year, the end of 2023, um, what are you doing for yourself? And I don't mean that to be a really obvious, stupid, corny, meaningless question. What are you doing to invest in yourself? Um, people tithe, people save money, they put it in retirement, they invest in their kids, they, you know, they invest in their house and, and everything else. But like the, the, the advice on the airplane, what are you doing to re-fortify yourself? Um, at, at one point early in my career, somebody said, take 10% of your pre-tax income and invest it in yourself. When you're not making much money, that's not hard to do. You can take a, a training class for a few hundred dollars and, and <laughs> some years that was you know, 10% of my income. But as you get older, um, what are you doing to invest in yourself? How much time do you take for your mental health? Uh, how much time do you take to take a walk or lift weights or do something physical and invest in your physical health? And then finally, what really helps a lot of people probably more than anything is that whole spiritual component. What are you doing to work on your whole mindset? So as you're wrapping up fourth quarter, thinking about New Year's, think about making a major investment and the number one most investment you might make in the new year is in you.